Whoa, whoa. I'm not on the channel today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm behind. Don't, don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> Who's our guest today, Jim? We have Dykstra Heating and Air Conditioning. Guys, thank you I so much. Home services. home services. It is home services, home heating services. and air. That's home correct. services, heating and air. So uh, introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Rich Dykstra Jr. I'm Jennifer Malazzo. Uh, Dykstra Malazzo. Yeah, <laughs> Dykstra. Okay, because I just assumed you two were married, but you're not. We are we're not. brother and sister. Brother. Yeah, Don't we look alike? I guess. I guess. No. In the, oh. you, no, 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 no. I didn't want to go in the association. So I was just like, all right, I'm just going to play with it, and I guess we'll figure it out. But yeah, no, I can see the resemblance now. <laughs> Makes sense. But sometimes wives turn into looking like their husbands anyway after 25 years. No, that, those are no, do- that's horrible. That's dogs. Yeah, those are dogs. Yeah, yeah that's not. That is horrible. I think it's more like. <laughs> Thank you. It's more like. I didn't want to be the one to say that that yeah. was horrible. I think it's more well, like, can we restart first, this podcast? First, I would tell you, your wife is lo- w- my wife has been with me longer than my dog, so well, I hope she, she doesn't look yeah, like does you. Yeah, does she look like you? Let's call her. Except for she don't, does don't. have that balding patch. I don't tell her though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I, I don't know what that is. I, anyway, anyway, for those who are just tuning in, not the you, show, honey. You, you this do, show, not us, though, sweetheart. This show is sponsored by Open Tax Resolution three one two six six four six six four nine. We, as you know, with the Trust Radio Network, feature professionals that you can trust. And I wanted to, I've, after looking at your guys' Facebook page and looking at your reviews that you've had all over the internet, and I know that your association with David Hochberg as well, I know that you guys are trust professionals, and we wanted to have you guys on and feature your business, and especially since it's been such a warm winter, it'll get, you know it's going to get cold, and somebody's going to need some, <laughs> and somebody's going to need some heating. So. Yeah. It's like Ray Spencer whenever it's raining, you know, he's like, he, when it's not raining, like, come on, get some rain, because yeah. that's what everybody calls. Yeah. For me, it's uh, it's uh, uh, tax time, so it's coming up. It's coming up, it's right? Coming up. Yeah, like our our busy season. I mean, you know, it comes October. You know, everyone knows the cold's coming, and the phone starts ringing in November, and then the holidays come, and everyone's preoccupied with with the holidays. We really need that cold weather for those units to to work long and hard and to break for them to call. Us. <laughs> and well, well, that's why you're trust professional. Well, that's how well, yeah. I like that. How do they know that they they're not going to work until they don't work? Exactly. exactly. And, and yeah. Until you put it on, you don't no one isn't going to work. Yeah, right. and that's why I we mean, no. Although I'm probably you probably have some sort of uh, um, uh, tune-up service yeah, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, right? absolutely. I mean, we stress preventative maintenance. Get it checked out early. You know, find those problems before it's a problem, before it's an emergency. But you know, lo and behold, people don't. Okay, so again, I help people with IRS problems. You think they come to see me before no. the IRS starts? Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This one, you know, the, the IRS is knocking at the yeah. door. Or they're taking their wages, and it's like, I need help. <laughs> how, how many letters I told have you? you I told you. You that you should do this. It's before. the same thing with though with me too. It's like, hey, why don't I just found the home of my dreams? Awesome. So let's get your pre approval. It's like, oh, we haven't done that yet. So, oh, <laughs> you ain't getting that house. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> What's that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we are. Uh, um, Again, we're doing our podcast, so everybody who's watching, thank you so much on our Facebook page. If you would please share, get the word out, the Trust Radio Network in 2020. Our first show, by the way, in 2020. Exciting. It is, I'm not going to lie to you. I am really excited because we started the show, and we didn't really know where it was going to go. We had an idea, right? The networking idea, bring trust professionals on, and it really has branched out into something that is really starting to evolve into you know, something we can really hang our hat on and be proud of because of the people... Uh, for example, we had a couple. We had a couple of attorneys on in December, and again, you can go over to our Facebook page, Trust Radio Network, and see our December guests on our slideshow, which you guys will be featured. And we're going to have a complete description for you guys, and be able to get in touch with you as well on our uh, uh, headline page. But um, I took some information from your website and made a page already for you. Just don't use my profile. Uh, um, oh. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand why you don't want it, but I think it's perfect myself. If you ever want to make one on me, just use my Tinder profile. It's it's got everything you need to know there. I don't have Tinder. I just want everybody to know that. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah. holding back comedy. You, you, you are yeah. creepy. Yeah. Match.com, is that better? <laughs> yeah. Man. I think it's like Farmers.com. Maybe. That's really where I'm at. I think that's where I'm on, at. I'm on Farmers.com. I knew I knew you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got the red fan mask today. No coincidence. Farmersonly.com. <laughs> We're gonna, we should have them on the show. Be like, what? What are you guys doing? This deal. Really? Are you guys? <laughs> are you all farmers? Where like, are you coming seriously? from? Seriously. So, uh, you got a city I, slicker I, on there? I think, I, think I have. I, I've been. I, I think I've been exposed. I've heard it, but I don't know any that much about that. So, and, and I'm. And I know about everything. Isn't that right, Deborah? 
<laughs> you know about everything Taylor Swift related. Well, that's I will true. say that. <laughs> Taylor Swift ain't on Farmers.com. No. 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 Okay. I don't think she might be. She might be. She loves. She used to. Doesn't do she have a song called Christmas Farm though? Yes. Uh, Maybe Christ, she is Christmas on that website. Tree farm. Oh, that. Yeah. Christmas tree farm. She grew up on a Christmas tree farm. Yeah, so did I. It's creepy. Yeah, yeah so did I. You do know it is a lot. A little That's creepy. <laughs> he really loves <laughs> Taylor Swift. Don't, don't get too crazy. Oh, I said he loves. <laughs> okay, do you not love Taylor Swift? Well, I, when you put <laughs> it that <laughs> way, uh, no, I don't. But <laughs> are you a Swifty? <laughs> I have. I have referred to myself as a Swift. Okay, then I think you love Only Taylor because, Swift. You know, whatever. Let's not go there. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go through my top ten t- Taylor Swift songs here. <laughs> maybe we should do that for Even 2020. Even though you could. Yeah. I yeah. could. You're sure. not. You could. I probably have. Maybe there's, maybe there's eight of them maybe I like. Okay. So here's what's really cool, a rundown of how this show works out. Again, right now we're doing the podcast. We're going to go right into the show. And then we're going to do a Taylor Swift section. And it'll be, <laughs> a, little more, it'll be a little more serious. It's still jovial, oh, but it'll still be a little more serious. But this is where we can really, between segments, really let loose. Okay, so, so it does, people do get confused sometimes when we're, in bet- when we're on and when we're off. Mm-hmm. Because we're always on. <laughs> we're on all the time. But sometimes, but sometimes we're not recording the show. Okay, so in between the segments, we still are on and we're still talking. Right. And so sometimes people, and even though I point this out to you, people still sometimes say, "Oh yeah," <laughs> they, they still get confused about it. So, but it is. It's um, so whenever we're ready to to uh, to work to do the show, uh, Debra, let's do the show. It's a, it's a Jewish dating website. Oh, J Day. Wow. Maybe gonna, I want to go on that one. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. I'm just gonna put this. I'm just gonna put the because um, you're not here, so I might as well just put the the slide up. Don't worry about me. How are you? Cool. Are you not on the? No, it's fine though. I'm, I'm on always, everything. He's behind the camera. I'm always here. Look at. I'm even really dressed up right now. You know, like usually I wear a suit and a tie. I can see that. Don't. I don't, eh, not really a tie. It's really yeah, a bow tie. It really uh, is a tuxedo, and not, it's not, not really. It's a t-shirt yeah. that looks like. No, a he's playing. Yeah, it really is a t-shirt tuxedo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, t-shirts are optional in this studio. So uh, anything. Yeah, really sometimes good. I just pop it off. You know. I did because we were did, we had uh, attorney Michael Danielwitz on a couple of weeks ago and uh, uh, I had a tight shirt on and he was making fun of me for it. Rightfully so. If you watch the video, rightfully so. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Check that out. He, wants, he wants people to comment on his work his workout ethic. Uh, so I just always no, like to remind yeah, everyone sure, before we yeah. start, you want to stay pretty close to the microphone. Mm-hmm. I'm sure Stephen and Jim told you so. Two fingers. Um. Yes. The same two fingers. Welcome to the Trust Radio Network. Join your host, Attorney Stephen A. Leahy, every Saturday night at 8, right here on AM560, as he engages in conversation with some of the most trusted professionals in all of Chicagoland. Enjoy interviews with local professionals dedicated to providing the very best products and services. Learn who they are, what they do, and most importantly, why they do it. Take a step inside the minds of some of Chicagoland's most successful business leaders and learn all there is to know. Every Saturday night at 8 on the Trust Radio Network. Now, here's your host, attorney Stephen A. Leahy. Tonight on the Trust Radio Network, attorney Stephen Leahy with Open Tax Resolution 312-664-6649 or visit chicagotaxteam.com. We have Deborah Schreiner, our technical producer and best in the business. I'm Jim Leahy, Leahy Residential with App Properties, 847-271-3695. And this is the Trust Radio Network. Well, thank you, Jim. I missed you last week. I miss 
see you last week. So where were you at? I, I was in. I, I was. You weren't here. I was over the border. Let's put it that. Canada. <laughs> what are you going up there for? <laughs> I don't like the cold. I get enough cold. Here. Yeah. You, anyway, we are. Don't forget that this show is sponsored by uh, Open Tax Resolutions and the Law Office of Stephen A. Leahy, PC, where we help business professionals solve IRS problems. We help them with uh, audits and levies, liens and garnishments, collections, unfiled tax returns, and payroll tax issues. If you have any of these problems, or if you know someone who does, you should give us a call at 312-664-6649. Again, that number is 312-664-6649. Or you can visit us on the web at chicagotaxteam.com. Um, today, we have a... a now, this is the Trust Radio Network, where we introduce you to trusted professionals, people you can trust when you're making important decisions. And in my mind, there's no more important decision than keeping your house. I told you, I came back from the south south border, and my house was at 50 degrees yesterday. It was pretty cold. I live in 50 degree weather. Uh, I, I enjoy that kind of temperature in my household. I don't like it so much. Put on a put on a sweater. <laughs> so today we have uh, we have the the Dykstra Home Services uh, Group. Is it group? Would you call it group? How are we going to sure. classify you guys? Group? Uh, team. You, team. Team. Yeah. Team. Like team. Thank you, Deborah. Go team. Go, go, go Dykstra team. We have guys, introduce yourselves. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm uh, Richard Dykstra, Dykstra Jr. Dykstra. Yeah, I'm uh, Vice President of Sales and Operations. Also uh, do in-home you know, estimates. I'm Jen Malazzo. I'm the president of the company. We're women-owned, which is pretty exciting. So that's, that's yeah, right. right. Yeah. So, yeah. so welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Woo-hoo. Keep it down. Well, as you can see, we have fanfare going off. <laughs> this is this is a record in front of a live studio audience. I love it. <laughs> I love people cheering for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, one of my favorite. Uh, when we have this show here on uh, Trust Radio Network, I love having family companies on, local family companies, because it's uh, we're a family company. Uh, I have I have family working for me, uh, and it's always interesting, right? And and you guys have a very long history about your your family business. So talk a little bit about that. That tell us a little bit about your family business. Yeah, it is. We, yeah, we've been around a long time. In fact, you know, Jennifer and I, we're actually fourth generation in the business. You know, uh, my, it would have been our great grandfather that um, taught our grandfather, David Dykstra. Uh, he's the founder of the company. You know, but he learned from his dad. He learned from his uncles. Um, they're kind of local handyman. But then Grandpa incorporated in 1926, and um, you know. DM Dykstra. 1926. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going wow. 94 years wow. this year. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. You know, so kind of the, the one man band and then, um, you know, set down roots in, in the Roseland area. 109th in Michigan was the first storefront. Um, that's where my dad, his brother, and sisters all grew up, right above the store. And eventually, you know, they all kind of got involved in the business and grandma was involved with the business. And, yep. you know, here we are, you know, fourth generation. Jenny and I have been doing it since high school. And, <laughs> it's just it's been a blessing so you guys have just fallen right into it and it just it, it's a match made in heaven well yeah I, you know i, I don't I get what you I, I know not heaven, but you know, listen well, you guys do a great job again from your reviews that we've seen again researching you guys to get you on the show i, I did some research and looking you guys up on your uh just type in google dykstra home services and you will see some of the great reviews that pop up also to your social media profile has a lot of great reviews i think 151 if i'm not mistaken so you have a lot of you have a lot of people that really do trust you and we wanted to have that featured on this show because that's what we do is uh introduce you guys introduce the audience into people that you can trust when you need when you're stuck in a bind so you guys are still on the south side aren't you yeah yeah i don't get that i don't get into the south side very much i'm uh south of madison avenue to me is yeah that's what i'll say yeah i don't go south of madison avenue it's a shame the south is fun (laughs) so i've been told i I don't get there very often vic and nito's is about as far south as i'm gonna go oh there you go that's that's worth is it Vito yeah. and Next, Nick and Vito's? I think it's Vito and Next. It's Vito, Vito and Next. I, I happen to like that too. But um, but tell us a little bit again. You, your fourth generation is amazing. You said you have a son. You have some daughters. That, I do. And uh, are they are they looking at the business too? You think they have worked in the summer. Um, I'm sure that's true, right? <laughs> yeah, but then you know they open their paycheck and don't understand why it's not cash and where all their money's going. And I say the it's same good, thing. It's a good lesson. Yeah. 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 What are these taxes? Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Called you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us a, uh, again. Tell us a little bit about 
How many people work for you? We've got about 45 employees right now. We're so always looking for more service guys. That's amazing. That's, yeah. a, that's a pretty big outfit. You know, uh, you guys, where do you, where's your uh, service area? So, you know, we cover, obviously, that um, we're located in Crestwood, Illinois. So, you know, we are out south, but we do cover up north, up to about Route 22, you know, north of Skokie and all that. That's my house, Route 22. <laughs> yeah. So. When do you want us to come over? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty soon. <laughs> you know, and then we also do uh, over the border, too, in Indiana, um, all Lake County, you know, so out south, Indiana, and then up to Route 22, out, you know, to the lake, and then all the way to Aurora. Yeah. So yeah. big, big coverage area. Is, and that's yeah. why we need more guys because, you know, the guys we have are great, but there's a lot of windshield time. And, you know, we'd like to have, you know, more guys all over so that we can cover more, you know, folks in the Chicagoland area. What's your, your let's, I am, I'm a big marketing guy. I like to talk about marketing. So tell me a little bit about your marketing plan and what, how that all works. So how does the radio work in that for, with you? Do you do radio commercials? Yeah, we so we are with um we do a lot with Lou Manfredini. Uh huh. Yeah, so that's fun. He's awesome. W G N. Yep. Lou Manfredini. It's all coming together. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, radio's new for us. I mean, we've been doing radio now about three years, and um, every year we've invested more. You know, and it's kind of becoming something that we enjoy. Um, we feel that it's working. Um, the listeners, you know. It's almost like they're referrals, you know. I, I have to agree with you. And it is amazing. When I know when I first started doing television, I mean. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's, it, that's in the works. I have done television commercials, but I wasn't on it. But they didn't work that well for me. But when I started doing. Uh, radio because you don't have the Chicago sports icons like that one guy does. <laughs> <laughs> I did a lot of WLS to begin with before I came here to WIND. And uh, and I, I, I had a lot of friends with Sabi. Hey, I heard your commercials. Yeah. Like, that's a, that's like a, uh, even though they didn't buy for me. <laughs> I want the people. Who are going to buy from me? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Although it's always nice to hear your friends say, say "Oh yeah, I heard your commercial. That was right. great." Right. <laughs> it's, like, it's like I guess people are hearing it, so mm -hmm. it's always interesting. You know, with me, I've been on the radio for about four years, and some people forget that I do that. But again, I've been doing it for four years every Friday, and we're on every weekend. And if I now I'm finally starting to have people come and go, "Oh, I heard you on the radio. Wow, that was cool." It's like. Yeah. Well, I've been doing that for a while. It's, right. it's been there. Right. It's, <laughs> still still awesome. yeah. it's branding. You know, it's just keeping it out there. And then when that need arises, oh, yeah, I remember hearing about you. you 100%. Know? And it's it's really working for us. So. so before the radio, or even now, I'm sure a lot of your business is a referral. It is. One of the cool things, like going back to the generations, is even when Richie goes to some of the houses, they'll be like, oh, your dad sold me my life. Last as long as they used to. Is that right? No. No, no. they don't. But, you know, they're... Definitely more efficient. You know, there's a lot more going on, more moving parts, more intelligence, but they're not going to take that wear and tear. You're not going to have 30, 40 years out of like a they furnace used to, yeah. right. like Grandpa used to put in. In fact, we just changed the furnace at the end of last year um, over on the the east side, you know, the avenues, south side Chicago, and it was a, 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 it was a coal converted to oil converted to gas furnace that my grandfather worked on changed the old republic burner had his sticker on it still <laughs> it was so cool that's yeah. awesome yeah i mean i got pictures of it and, and and we you know just changed the furnace was 60 70 years i don't know it was old it was old, yeah. Really old. Yeah. our installers came back with the tag and they're like look at how cool this is wow yeah, wow. yeah. You know, so it's amazing, guys. You're still out there. You're still helping right. people uh, with that's their a seal of approval yeah. right there. Yeah. If you yeah. if you've been going to this house for this past sixty decades. plus years, right. yeah, decades. The so customers, so. his father worked with my grandfather. Yeah, you know? and again, it's like, uh, man, I, I'm sure that you guys have some cool stories about that too. But we're running out of time. If I have a problem with my heating or air conditioning, or if I just want to get a general quote, maybe duct cleaning as well, which we'll talk about later in the show. How can I reach you guys? Yeah, give us a call. We're at eight hundred. 421-3220 or DykstraHomeServices.com Are you on Facebook? Yeah, we are. Um, Facebook.com backslash Dykstra Home Services. Beautiful. So ladies and gentlemen, remember, our interview with the Dykstra team will continue, but before we do, i got to tell you, Open Tax Resolution is there for you. 312-664-6649 to visit ChicagoTaxTeam.com. It's going to be your hub to fight the IRS. Again, as I said, you have to listen to our sponsors come right back because we have a great interview with the Dykstra team, but you can only hear it if you listen on AM560. The Answer. It all comes from up here, guys. So uh, I think you're... I think you're uh 
So I turn the camera on so it can face me. Everybody take a look and say hello. I got a watch party going. We got the whole crew in here. You can see it back and forth. It's so cool. But I would have it going, but it's playing. I can't I can't get it to be quiet. Oh. So I can't do it. Otherwise, I would have a camera on me as well. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to get my sweet face, don't worry about it. I'll be back on camera next week. But for right now, stay tuned. Yeah. Can't, can't they see your um, allegedly sweet face if they contact you for uh, real estate? Buying uh, or selling, Jim? Oh, hell yeah. 847-271-3695. That's my phone number. Let's define your decade. And I feel like we're going to define our decade, again, with Dykstra Home Services is when they come in and take a look at your heating air conditioning right before your move make sure that everything's up to up to go and get those uh what is it the duct work cleaned out yeah you guys do all chicago land or again you just, just do talked about that i know but i'm mentioning again because i do have a cutoff for for certain services but we go pretty much up to route 22 up on the north side oh, all, of, all of, that's us <laughs> all the chicago land area you know the greater chicago land area um indiana lake county cool you know we're um licensed certified in all those towns well that's good no, again, because I have some sort of line. So I was a, I told you I was an iron worker before I mm-hmm. before I became an attorney, and I was a, a third generation iron worker. So it was funny when when you talk about you know my grandfather did this stuff. So when I met, I used to meet some the old timers. I I knew your grandpa. We did, <laughs> yep. and some of the stories you know stories that your family would never tell you about your grandpa. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, I was like oh. <laughs> so some of my favorite stories still from from that are, are guys that I worked with that told me about my grandfather and things that he would do as a Again, mm-hmm. that your family would not tell you. Yeah. So, oh, would that would they be able to be told on the radio right now? <laughs> they could be, but give I, us I, an I example, know. maybe. Uh, Ow. Oh, Stephen Leahy, I remember. I remember your grandpa. He once killed a man for stealing his lunch. <laughs> <laughs> he may have, uh, uh, but he worked on. Not I, true. I did a lot of work. <laughs> Allegedly, at, I did a lot of work at McCormick Place and and uh, trade shows. Uh, we we uh, moved uh, heavy equipment. So we, I saw you guys. Uh, I saw on your, you had some pictures of a crane putting mm-hmm. uh, air conditioner units on there. So we would do stuff like that. You know, um, not the smaller stuff, but by when I, when I was a kid, I'd go to work with my dad, and he put up the the window washing units or the air conditioning units up on like uh, the Standard Oil building or things like that. You know, where wow. you got to get it up there. So. Yeah. And uh, and big units. You know, yeah, that, right. that's uh, cool. Yeah, it was cool. So it's very. You just carry it up the stairs, don't you? Really nice. <laughs> they just threw it on their back in those days. <laughs> so it's so very nice. Uh, but again, it's, uh, that connection with with your gener- with generations is really cool. It I is, think cool. That's right. it is cool. Uh, okay, uh, we're going to talk about people that you helped in the second uh, in this next segment. Again, going with that too, you've been helping people for decades. You yeah. know, so we can even segue back into that start off or you could talk about the different services and you know maybe different examples of people because i said i saw i saw the pictures of the ducks the duck cleaning yeah and it's amazing it is uh, amazing yeah. and uh, and uh, you know i don't think people realize you know that's one of the things that again i told you if my wife saw pictures she would <laughs> it's grody it, 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 it is does. gross it, it's Disgusting, and I don't think I don't know when I was growing it's up. I don't know if anybody ever grows. had that. So it's yeah. of course <laughs> maybe uh, we didn't have a lot of H- HVAC either back in the day. Um, you know, maybe that's what it was. I, I don't know, but nobody ever thought about that. You know, no. you, you know, you got to get that clean. Uh, right. I didn't know that. Yeah, uh. you just wiped it down <laughs> on the outside, but yeah. never inside where all the right. dirt is. It's so gross. And you're I can only ima- I can only imagine what my apartment would be like. And uh, I don't now that now I'm scared. <laughs> Are you a little scared? <laughs> Do you have pets? No, um, no, I'm allergic to pets. Yeah, all pets. Yeah, <laughs> just every animal. What about a fish? I, I think it's what about, about a fish. I think it's more about uh, responsibility. Uh, is that is that allergic, I'm allergic. Yeah, allergic to, I'm allergic to fish too. Don't like, yeah, I don't like fish. I'm allergic yeah. to feeding them, yeah. and caring for them. Yeah. Can it can them. it survive? <laughs> is it a self-sustaining thing? Then yeah, I'm not allergic to it. It's fine. Uh, plants? Have you thought about a plastic plant? <laughs> <laughs> Allergic. I gotta du- I gotta dust it. Um, no, but I like animals with hair, so I I, yeah. Yeah, I don't have pets. No. Okay. But I don't know if the people before me had pets. Right. So right. That's it. I could imagine that that would be an issue. Yeah. Also, oh, oh, I'm gonna be in contact with my uh, landlord today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whenever you're ready, Deborah. And now, 
back to the Trust Radio Network on AM 560. The answer, real conversations with some of the most trusted professionals in Chicagoland. Once again, here's attorney Stephen A. Leahy. Welcome back. Uh, this is the Trust Radio Network here on AM 560. The, the answer. answer. The show where we introduce you to trusted professionals. People you can trust when you're making important decisions, like having your air conditioner and your heating uh and we, as we're talking about, duck the work, work done, right? Who do you call? You know, you everybody needs somebody that you can rely on. And that's why we're going to, we are into, introducing you to this trusted professional, the Dykstra Home Services Company, who does uh, uh, air heating and air conditioning and other, th- and other things that we're going to talk about in just a minute. We're here with Richard Dykstra and Jennifer Malazzo. And um, brother and sister who grew up in the fourth generation. Yeah. Amazing. To me, that's amazing. And so... So uh, tell us a little bit about some people that you've helped. I always like to I always like to highlight people that you've helped, so others that are listening can see themselves and say, "Yeah, that's what I need. I should have them come out and help me." Right, right. I mean, you know, a lot of times we get the call and um, people are in a panic. You know, when it's freezing cold in Chicago, like it can get, and your heat goes out. You know, that's a state of panic. and Or vice versa, right? Because if it's really hot. Right? And the reverse, yeah. And that's when you have a problem. It's 90. Right. It's 95. I have a newborn or, you know, an elderly in the home. and it, 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 It's uncomfortable. And people do get panicked. And uh, who do you call? You know, who do you call? Who can you trust? Who's going to come out, take care of you in a timely manner, and not take advantage of the situation? Because, you know, you hear about those things, and it does happen. And, um, you know, we, we, we want to be there for those folks. So, you know, we have been helping people for years. Um, 800-421-3220. That's how people get a hold of us. We got, you know, folks answering the phones 24 hours, you know, you know. Technicians on call, 24 hours, licensed, bonded, insured, all that good stuff. So if in the event, you know, someone comes out to the house. Um, well, we're talking about people that you can, again, we were talking about people mm-hmm. you can do. We had a, 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 a one of our trusted professionals is, is Tracy Kahn from uh, Joe Cotton Ford. And they're generational like you, right? Sure. So they have people come back to right. say, I bought 20 cars from you. Yeah. And that's, you know, uh, and you were telling us a story about, about the same thing with you, right? That people have been using you for generations. Right, yeah. We, yeah, we just actually, like I mentioned, you know, the, the customers father dealt with my grandfather you know so we're working on the same house for decades that's amazing you know keeping it going and again that means they trust you because they they, here they they keep your name around it's worked all this time you've always been a trusted person in there and they can call you when they need help and and then and again uh, i think as we were i think we were talking off the air about that that furnaces don't last as long as they used to (laughs) and air conditioners don't like i don't know if they last as long but like refrigerators all this stuff so you got to have someone around that you can really trust these days you don't just put it and forget it right 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 yeah yeah we you know we put it in but we're going to be around if there's a problem you know what if not everything goes perfect because you know not everything always goes perfect we'll be there to take care of it to stand behind it and make sure that there's you know agreeable terms for everyone and that's actually again you help those people from 60 plus years i mean decades again and the technology's changed so much too i can imagine that that's always uh uh, that's always fun going into these older houses and like oh we need to completely redo this what is this yeah uh this we haven't run ran coal since (laughs) the The oil guy won't come anymore seriously i don't understand it but that's who came in when i was a kid they come to our building they had the oil guy come out and fill up the tank yeah it's kind of amazing amazing. when i first started i feel like my job you know was to to be the grunt you know i'd have to haul out all the old equipment help carry in the new stuff and i remember the first time i got to a house and we were removing an old oil burning system and you know i had to get the oil tank out of the basement and I'm looking at the size of this oil tank, and they they had to have built the house around it because yeah. there was no other way to get it out. We yeah. had to cut it in the pieces. I mean, I've seen that again. Being real, I've seen that before too. I sold places that are just like, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. How'd you get that in? There? <laughs> like we renegotiated the contract, final walk through. Like, ooh, can we get that through? I'm like, <laughs> let's <laughs> listen. Let's have the attorneys talk through. That's why I sell them. I don't, I don't, <laughs> right. you know. I'm but, not. but that stuff, you know, like for for your. You know, customers. You know, when they're buying or selling, to 
you want to look into this stuff oh, during yeah. that process. Well, you know, again, what you say that, that everything doesn't go perfect all the time, and of course, that's what makes the that's what separates good companies and people you can trust right. from those that you can't. I agree. Right? Because exactly. because when th- there's al- there's always going to be a problem. So what's going to happen when you have that problem? Can you is is the person that put it in? Can you go back to them? Will they fix it for you without giving you you know without just ro- writing you off and not worried about you? Because you you want to you want them to call their kids to call you one day, right? Exactly. Okay. So that's so important. I think uh, the way you your customer service, right? Yeah, absolutely. Again, yeah. I want I want to touch base. We talked about it the first segment. We talked about it during a commercial break on our WatchTalkRadio.com podcast, where everybody who's listening right now can go to Facebook.com backslash or forward slash or whatever. Just go to Facebook.com <laughs> Trust Radio Network. Okay, you can see all of our podcasts that we do every Friday. But uh, what are the areas that you service again? Because for listeners that are just tuning in right now, yeah. So we're based out of Crestwood, Illinois. Mm-hmm. So we're out south. Um, but we do sh- cover all Chicago, Chicago land market, up to Route 22, mm-hmm. basically out west to Aurora, um, and then Indiana, all Lake County. Okay. And then we do go pretty far south. I mean, we cover Joliet, and then uh, we'll even hit, you know, Kinky, Bourbon A. Do people live south yeah. you? Not really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the farmers. Yeah. The farmers. <laughs> okay, oh, my God. Just taking my, di- my dig at the south side. Okay, that's just, it's, it's all in good fun. <laughs> I say that every time I go down to Joliet and I drive past that bridge, I go, wow, they got everything here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is true, though, that the population go, starts going down from there. Is yeah. that right? It, 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 you get a little more bang for your buck, too. Let me tell well, you. That's it, true. Ain't that that's the true. truth. I'll tell you. Right. What, I've driven across this great state of Illinois more than a handful of occasions, and once you get south of Julia, that's a clean breeze out there. It's the it's field. easy driving. <laughs> that's true. It's, it's easy true. driving. Actually, it's really to Bloomington. Because well, well, you're going to Bloomington. Then tell us a little bit about some other services. Because you guys, we talk about air conditioners, you got to talk about furnace. But but you do more than that, don't you? Yeah, we, we do a lot of IAQ stuff, like indoor air quality stuff. So we do duct oh. cleaning and we seal the duct work if you have leaks. So if you have like rooms and that are freezing cold. I or, love the acronym. Say that yeah. again. The IAQ. The IAQ. Yeah. <laughs> Say, what is it? Indoor air quality. Okay, so, IAQ. Okay. Yeah. That's good. And no, I made it up. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> in In the business, we talk about that. But that's, obviously, that's important. Yeah. And I right. think people don't really think about it. So talk a little bit about that. Because what, what goes into that? What's the biggest, uh, what makes your air quality the worst? Yeah, well, so, you know, it's not just the temperature of your air that keeps you comfortable. You know, this is air that you're breathing in, you're breathing out. It's the amount of humidity in the air or the lack of humidity in the air. You know, so indoor air quality kind of addresses all those things. You know, we want the house to be warm in the winter, cool in the summer, but we also want to be properly, you know, humidified. If it's too humid uh-huh. in the summer, you know, you run the air harder and you're never comfortable. Um in the wintertime, it gets severely dry, especially homes with forced air. You know, modern heating is generally forced mm-hmm. air. So you got that warm air blowing out of the ductwork, but that's dry air. And, you know, all of a sudden now you got that scratchy throat and your creaky wood furniture and you're getting static shocks everywhere. So, you know, we can add humidification. Um, and then the amount of dust and dirt and pollutants in the air. You know, homes are getting built these days tighter and tighter and tighter which is great for efficiency but then the indoor air quality just drops severely well, that makes sense really i didn't that, that's interesting oh yeah the air inside so your I'm, home is significantly more so I've been to your than, website. Than outside. outside i've been wow. to your website and i yeah. what, what shocked me were the pictures of the of the the dust uh, i'm not the the, the duck work i'm um, it's it, there's so much gunk in there and it sticks to the inside it's just gross so our process is pretty cool we have like a whip that goes in, and so it scrapes and sucks. It's not just like a vacuum, so it gets everything out. I saw the before and after, after pictures. Un- unbelievable! Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, and and as you were mentioning, that everything's so so uh, the the environment is so closed that right if if it's blowing through the the ductwork, then the ductwork is is uh, filthy. And again, you got to go to see these pictures, folks. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. You know, I said, don't, don't show my wife because we're having to come out next week. Yeah. Yeah. She would say, yeah. she'd go crazy on this. Yeah, yeah. put it on the wire. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. She's watching our live stream right now, so I'm sure your phone's ringing off the hook. So, so but but it is. It's it's, a, and I'm sure again, if people see this, you know, we don't think about it. Out of sight, out of mind. Right. Exactly. Right? So, um, uh, so what is that? Something like that. What, what does that entail? You said you have this. This uh, is that an afternoon thing? Does it take? It how does, long does it take? It takes about. It can take up to about like four hours per furnace per system in your house. Um, it's it, we seal it, like we cover all the supply and returns and we he cuts a hole into the 
trunk line, the main trunk line, and then the whip goes in there. Uh huh. So. Yeah. Yeah. So it's. It, Oh, well, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to cut you off. We are running out of time. Let's get your phone number. If we do need that duck cleaning, we'll touch base on this after commercial break going into our real estate segment. But I just got to, we got to take commercial break. So let's get your phone number. Here's what you do. You call 800-421-3220. Ask for Marsha. She'll go over the whole process with you. Take care of you. Get you set up. And it's a cool process too. So our interview will continue with the Dykstra team. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Dykstra Home Services. But you got to hear about open tax resolution. You know what their phone number is? 312-664. 6649 or visit chicagotaxteam.com is going to be your hub to help fight the IRS. Okay, listen to our sponsors and come right back. I'm done talking here on AM560. The answer. All right, so I got a question from a from a, a watcher on our on our podcast for you guys. Um uh, my house is approaching 25 years old. When would you recommend me getting the furnace and AC replaced? What if uh, what manufacturers would you recommend if you don't mind me asking? Now you don't have to uh, again get yourself you know, It's up to you whether you guys want to share the manufacturer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying with them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, we're fine we're with, good it. with that. Um, well they're already on borrowed time. So that's not the best news. You know, 18 to 22 years is the average lifespan. So if you got 25 years out of it, hooray. Yeah, good, good for you. You got a full life. You know, but um, so it wouldn't be, you know, a bad idea to maybe start getting some choices or start planning ahead, getting those prices, start budgeting. Um, and that's stuff we can help with, obviously. Um, we happen to be a factory authorized dealer with Carrier, and we've been dealing with Carrier and partners with them for over three decades. I mean, of they're one of the Carrier best. Carrier is the, is the top, yeah. is the top yeah. in the business. Yeah, they're the largest manufacturer here in the U.S. And um, as a partner, as far as, you know, Top quality equipment, um, distribution of parts and training. I mean, they're just fantastic. So it helps us. So I, I yeah, I always throw their name out there any chance I get because there are other brands out there and there are good brands. But um, we choose care. You know, we could choose any brand, of course. But we choose them because it makes sense for our business and helps us take care of our customers. Kind of goes back to what we were just talking about though, because uh, you you know that carrier is going to be there. Absolutely. And, right. and when there's a problem, you you know you know that product yeah. is going to be backed up by good customer service. Yeah. They just are. Yeah. Exactly. Our, our rep's old school. I mean, he's in every week. In fact, he was in twice this week. You know, mm-hmm. we we have a personal relationship, you know, all the way up to the vice president of sales uh, residentially. You know, we we can make the call um, and they'll take care of us. So so let's answer that question, if you don't mind. We can answer it on our uh, next uh, segment for the real estate segment. Again, we're hitting the spring market, or, well, I'm already in spring right. market mode. But the spring market's starting after the Super Bowl. Like, historically, yeah. the moment the Super Bowl ends, right. we're hitting, we're rolling in full, in full spring Buyers mode. Are out. That's right. So um, let's talk about that for people who are thinking about, you know, getting ready to list their home. Perfect. Are you going to talk about... Uh, uh, also, too, some advice that you would have yeah. for first-time home buyers. So we'll hit the seller side and we'll hit the buyer side. Okay. Yeah, because everybody, you know, you go looking at your home, you know, that's behind some some right, door, right? Closet. Yeah. So, you, you know, nobody nobody really wants to look, looking. look at it. So. Yeah. Also, too, with these oil systems, too, you got to think about how much is, you know... It's soil samples too. You don't know if any of that oil has leaked in the soil, and that costs a lot of money. Oh, it costs man. a lot of money to fix well, that's that soil. Environmental. That's that's, that's environmental stuff. Yeah. Well, I don't know. What I've heard. I've heard they, horror they stories. Have, you know, I've heard oil serious system, horror you know, stories about yeah. that, where it costs people so I said, like I told you, I was down in Mexico, hundreds so and hundreds of thousands still, of dollars. They're still pumping in like still ridiculous amount. In the city? Oh, really? Yeah. No. 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 In the in the south. Yeah. Seriously. South of the Mason Dixon line. South of Madison Avenue. Same thing. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. South. <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's not the same thing. Okay? It's really not that bad. <laughs> like, literally, from. every time I, I go it. south of Madison Avenue, I start whistling Dixie. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> it's great. We have carpeting, running water. <laughs> really? i got to go visit yeah. more often. Yeah. Yeah. Of them. <laughs> Indoor plumbing. It's great. <laughs> That's new. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's new for 2020. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Okay. When are we ready, Deborah? So again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning into our podcast. If you have any other questions, please ask away. Again, Christopher, thanks for asking that question. Um, can we get your phone number, for uh, Rich? Yeah, absolutely. We're at 800 421 Three two two zero. So, if anybody has any questions for these good folks at Dykstra Home Services team, 
you give those good folks a call and they'll be happy to answer your question. Is that is that a name that you changed recently or, or you know that you because you, you, I saw from your website it used to be Dykstra Brothers and then it was then it was Dykstra, Dykstra home, you know was, air, yeah. heating and air conditioning. So was that something that's recent or has that happened some time ago? Well, it was DM Dykstra. Yeah, DM was David Martin. That was my grandfather. Uh-huh. And then um, in two thousand one. 2001, we were uh, sold to NICOR Gas, Mm -hmm. and then NICOR Gas got bought out, who got bought out, who got bought out, and then they decided to kind of get away from the installation and IAQ portion of the business. So then I love it, IAQ, I love it, I I got it, it, I love it. Um, so then we had we reopened again in 2014. Is that right? Yeah. So we under Dykstra Home Service. Yes. Dykstra Home Service. Yep. And it's more of because it's more encompassing of what you do because you do more than just heating and air conditioning. Exactly. Yeah. So. That, that's a, that's a, that's an amazing story. Yeah. For, uh, now we're gonna start a new tradition here. I know I did this with Ray Kappa. I gotta ask you guys: Do you have any ghost stories from uh, being in these houses, these old houses, pulling stuff on? Any spooky stories? No. Did no. any? Was there any time where a, a ghost popped out of the ductwork? <laughs> <No. laughs> well, yeah. So we're we're actually ghostbusters. It's not a duct cleaning machine. Okay, so. We trap so ghosts. We did have a. Awesome. We did. We had awesome. ghost hunters on the show. On the show. Was, uh, no way. Yeah, right Chicago before. paranormal investigators. Oh. Right no before, kid. That's yeah. so cool. Right and they do yeah. tours right for Halloween. Yes. Oh, no, they wow. go out. They they're they used to. They, okay. They go out. They're the guys that. It's they're kind of like tornado guys. Mm-hmm. You know when the, when there's a tornado and then all these guys all these I'm gonna call them geeks kind of yeah. run out to to see the the tornado. Same thing. They, they, they hey, there's a ghost. Uh, it's actually vortex, sir. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Tornado chasers yeah. and they're ghost chasers. Yes, so, so. same thing. That's yeah. pretty cool. But the yeah, evidence that they've geeks. collected is really, they have like full body apparitions that they captured the Chicago, on their page. It's cool. Right. Oh, Chicago, Chicago, yeah. The Chicago Paranormal. Dave, investigators? Uh, inve- investigators, yes. Where one guy is, they, uh, is a police fire, Chicago policeman and one's a Chicago fireman. So they're, and they, <laughs> I was asking, how does everybody treat you? Well, you know, it's like the kind of goofy. He says, you'd be surprised. Everybody has a story yeah. that they have kind of encountered. So they don't think it's goofy. Right. That, then it's true. If and you talk al- to most people. They also said they do think we're goofy until we show them some of the footage well, that we've true. done. They have some mm-hmm. amazing stuff that they've I want to check that off. Yeah. I do too. I don't have any ghosts. Yeah, we haven't. Uh, as far as I, I, I know. I no ghosts. No. <laughs> yeah, as far as I know, it hasn't happened to me. I'm I've, knock on wood. You know, I've <laughs> some scary no, have not homes, me. some scary customers, but no, <laughs> no ghosts. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah. I, I think we all have had scary yeah. customers. <laughs> yes, I still have scary. No, no. <laughs> I might have been a scary customer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do the next segment. Listening to the Trust Radio Network on AM 560. The answer. Step inside the minds of some of Chicago's most successful business leaders. Here's your host, Attorney Stephen A. Leahy. I will sell this house today. Yes, welcome back. This is this is the uh, Trust Radio Network here on AM 560. The answer. We're here with uh, Richard Dykstra and Jennifer Malazzo. Correct. Yep. Okay. See, I got. I got you got it. it. You got it. And um, of Dykstra Home Services. And uh, my co-host is Jim Leahy. Our technical producer is. Deborah Schreiner. I think I missed that out the last segment. I should never do that because I have to introduce them. It's uh, okay. <laughs> uh, and Jim, tell us about what's going on in the uh, in the real estate market today. Well, listen, we're about to hit the spring market, as everybody knows. After the Super Bowl, everybody starts hitting and getting ready to go. So right now, if you're thinking about selling, guess what? I can guarantee you your neighbors are getting ready for that home sale as well. So that's who you have to compete against. And really, that's the whole point of having a realtor, right, is to make sure that your home stands up against the competition to get the best money possible. So today we have the Dykstra team, again, Dykstra Home Services. And I want to ask you guys, uh, we have a listener question uh, from our podcast that we do on Fridays, which you can go to facebook.com forward slash trust radio network. And the question is, my house is approaching 25 years old. When would you recommend me getting the furnace and AC replaced? 
Yeah, so that's, I mean, that's a great question. And, you know, we did talk about this earlier, but, you know, 25 years, congratulations, your system lived a full life. You know, it's beyond anticipated life, in fact. So, you you know, good bang for your buck. But, you know, the average life is really about 18 to 22 years in the Chicago market. Um, And that's great. I mean, you think about how hard the furnaces work and how how many hours you got on that machine. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. So um, they should really start planning and budgeting. Give us a call. We can help you with that. Kind of go over all the, the latest and greatest in technology and give you the price ranges. You know, we have financing, monthly payment options, all that good stuff because you don't want to get stuck when it goes out. Well, now let's talk a little bit. Stop that a little bit because Mm -hmm. that's so important. You talk about financing because uh, these things are not inexpensive. They're a big part of a home, right? It's not not an insignificant, not like a refrigerator or something. It could kill a deal. I mean, it could easily kill a deal. I mean, small stuff has killed a deal, but I mean, if you're... The heating and AC is blown out. Like people are going to go. Oh, I'm not going to pay for that. Right. Yeah, it's going right. to cost me a whole lot of money. Mm-hmm. That's a, yeah, that's a big credit, you know. Oh yeah, on a sale. Big time. So, yeah, being able to um, low monthly, you know, affordable monthly I payments. That's important. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Plus the money you're saving on utilities. You got equipment that's under warranty. All that peace of mind. It, it really makes sense to kind of plan ahead. Um, and not be stuck, you know, and have to make a quick decision. Yeah. Well, I guess that's another good point, right? Because, it, right, if it goes out when it's when it's sub zero, I can't really do. I'm not going to do a lot of shopping. No, right. 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 who can get it in the quickest? Yeah. Seriously, and, you know, those guys. Uh, I'm here to tell you. It, I, I know you know. Hats off to them, but you know you're not always getting the best product because because you're busy, right? Yeah. right. So the best companies are busy. So if you're if, exactly. if you're in a uh, uh, emergency zone and and the good companies are taken, you're going to wind up with the bad company. Yeah. Sorry, but they're out there like every other industry, yeah, right? Exactly. right? And so and you aren't going to have much of a choice, and and not only the company, but what other products? Because you're going to have to buy whatever they have. Right. You're not going to do a lot of educate. You're not going to educate yourself about it, and you're just going to pick something. And say, yeah, put it in. So but that's yeah. but that's good to know again too is people are getting ready to list their home getting things because what they're doing the odds and ends painting the walls making yeah. sure to get the little minor improvements nobody's really thinking about all oh, the duct work oh i right. should oh right. i should probably take a look have somebody take a look at this furnace and air conditioner so again that's why Leahy residential with that properties will be able to best suit you the seller and also well we'll go into home buying in just a second because we're running out of time but again the seller because i have these connections with trusted professionals people who you can truly trust such as dykes or home service but now going to because I help home I help uh, first time home buyers. If I'm buying a home for the first time, what's what's your advice to a first time home buyer? Yeah, I mean if if you're walking into a home, obviously you're going to look at the the stuff you can see, you know the the. the cosmetic stuff but you, you want to get into the mechanicals of that house you know how old is that equipment you know if it's 15 years old when's the last time it's been checked out do you have service records can we see them if not can we have someone that we trust come and do an inspection on that equipment before we make the biggest investment of our life you know mm-hmm. and um i think that's good advice what you just said is that, that the older the equipment though the more likely you should have someone come out and oh look yeah at it. yeah because yeah, right. what if you know yeah everything's working but what if there's a crack in the heat exchanger it's unsafe or unfit for your you you know, your, and you can't your see that unless mm-hmm. someone comes in with mm-hmm. a camera, you know. So you guys answer, well, if, if someone had a question about this, you guys answered questions, right? So if someone calls you and say, hey, I have this this unit, uh, and they have a question about it, they can call you and ask yeah, a question. Call. Yeah, 800-421-3220. That's what makes a good trusted professional, right, Jim? That's right, is answering the questions. Again, making sure that, you know, people are taken care of. That's first and foremost. Um, So, again, ladies and gentlemen, remember the Dykstra Home Services team is there for you. And Leahy Residential with that properties as well. 847-271-3695 is my phone number. Give me a call. Let's define your decade, okay? Be it with the floors, be it with your heating and air conditioning, be it with your tax issues, because I'm going to tell you about that in just a second well that'll be for another show too because we're gonna this can be something that's gonna be uh, yeah. an occurring theme here in illinois i hate to say it but that's just the truth is for, <laughs> yeah it is but we'll get into that on another show anyway ladies and gentlemen remember Leahy residential with that properties 847-271-3695 you know who i want to thank let me just let me say this i, I want to thank open tax resolution for putting on such a great show <laughs> for being an awesome sponsor of this show 312-664-6649 you guys are great you are a trusted professional you know that attorney Stephen Leahy yes uh, we try to be Jim so listen we're going to go to commercial break but our our uh, interview with the Dykstra Home Services team will continue here on AM 560 The, the Answer, answer. 
fir- the first couple of the first please jump in on the next one but uh, we always do that uh, everybody we have on will sit there first two segments and find they're like the answer <laughs> you guys will say it and then i'll say it it'll be awful yeah. that's what i do <laughs> awkward i'll forget yeah i'll forget it sometimes it'll, it'll work either, it works either way so it's fine uh okay so now we're going to talk about common questions you know the most common questions that you get yeah i got some well yes yeah. deborah yeah Nothing. Rich Senior sent a few in too. I was gonna say sometimes Jim likes to say on AM five sixty the ants were. <laughs> no it's emphasis right. on the W. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's a silent Q, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. QA what is it? Q uh, IQ I IQ. IQ. Uh, High IQ for I A Q. There we go. Uh, w H Y. <laughs> I love I love uh, uh, industry uh, acronyms because in your it's like everybody throws it around like oh yeah sure uh, uh, you know, right. like in my business but we, we talk about uh, you know twenty eight forty eight the you know the different forms and to us it's it's what we you know it's what yeah, you do it's our language good. but yeah. the listeners are like what are you talking about yeah I know so. sometimes people are even like what does HVAC yeah, stand well, for yeah, we're and I'm like we're an really HVAC. they're like what is that. Yeah. You know, and I'm yeah. like, well, that's strange that mm. you don't know that. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. That is strange. I have Although, a bridge over uh, uh, New York I can sell you now, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to people hear it, but they don't really understand. Right. I don't know that my kids would actually yeah. know what it means. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> they wouldn't. Heating, ventilation, air conditioning. Yeah, they'd be like, what? Yeah. What? I love the people who sell stuff like, oh, you didn't sign a 2214? Oh, hey, Bob, you didn't sign a 2214? Oh, that's your problem. Uh, it's like, oh, well, what is it? Oh, technical terms. Don't worry about it. Just sign right here. Don't worry about it. Sign. We'll take care of it. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, remember, this is a watchtalkradio.com podcast. Please go over to the Trust Radio Network Facebook page. Like it. Share it. Be informed with a lot of our trusted professionals for 2020. And you can join us on the Hustle Chicago Stair Climb. There's still time to join our team. Hashtag Team Opum. If you are already joined, make sure you go into our events and say you are going. So we know who's going to be there and we can discuss and get everything, uh, all the information out to you, especially the bar crawl afterwards. This will be our third year. Uh, I haven't signed up yet. Can I skip the stairs and just go to the bar? Yes. yes. Oh, you can. I'm in. Yes. If you want to come, I'll give you all the information because I think it's, I'm not going to be able to do the stair climb. I will be able to do the bar easy. climb. Okay. It's not easy to skip up the stairs, though. No. Well, no. Oh, you mean skip can the Can I go down? Yeah. Is it up or down? <laughs> You know, in my previous life, uh, I was a comedian. I was a vaudeville actor. <laughs> IRS attorney by day, uh-huh. still comedian in the works by night. Yeah, well, you <laughs> keep know, working on you, it. Yeah, uh, play me off, Debbie. Da, 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 da. <laughs> There's a marvelous Miss Mar- Marshall. What is it? I love that show. Oh, Miss Marshall. I do. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I saw. Uh, my wife tried to get me to watch a couple of those. Episodes. It sounds like a but Mary Poppins. I was telling him today about. It, it is. Is it really? No. Oh, I was telling him about. It, I would not be surprised. I was telling Jim about it today because at the the first couple of episodes, when she's with her husband and he's doing the Bob Newhart bits, you know. And, oh yeah. Because we were saying how uh, all these comedians kind of steal from each other, mm-hmm. and, and a lot of bands do the same thing. They kind of take it from one another, uh, and then when she finds out that he that he stole that bit from Bob Newhart, she she was a little disappointed. Yeah. Though. You mean you're not that talented? <laughs> I just it's pretty was, funny. Yeah. It's a funny show. I've heard it's good. I, and, uh, it's good. Okay, so I've another thing about that show, show, I remember, and, and just uh, just because I used to talk to my wife about this, that she would wake up early and get herself all dolled up for her husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my wife, not only that. When are you going to do that for me? She, she goes, get up early, you can doll she yourself goes to sleep with her makeup on, yes. waits yes. for him to fall asleep, and then, <laughs> yeah. and then uh, goes and takes it all off, and then goes and puts and it all back on early. in the morning. That's right, and so acts like she's sleeping. Yeah. What wow. show is is so, this? Yeah. So he he and thinks why? he has no idea what she really looks like. <laughs> It's is awesome. it a comedy? It sounds like a comedy. Is it a dark humor? It's funny. It's, yeah. it's is a, it funny? Yeah. It's a you know what it's show I'm into is The Witcher on Netflix. Anybody heard of it yet? No. I've heard of it. I haven't yeah. seen Water? it. Water? The Witcher. Oh, okay. what's it about? Uh, it's all based off a video game, but also novels, too, from some Polish guy. But it's, it's a good show. I mean, it's... <laughs> You're dating yourself. Sounds I'm really sold. <laughs> I'm dating my... Uh, uh, because of the... the it's the... Uh, it's the video game. Thing. It's actually based. I was gonna say. 
<laughs> is it like it's based off video game lore? So it's pretty but, cool. Like yeah. Lord of the Rings, but with witches. Yeah, it, it kills monsters and stuff. It's, it's, cool. it's cool. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's pretty cool stuff. <laughs> I played that game for days. I'm wondering when you say dating yourself, do you mean he's dating himself because that's what he watches, or dating himself by age? But by his age. Because I think maybe it's both. <laughs> it might be also, both. He's yeah, well, my seven <laughs> girlfriends are going to be real upset that you said that. <laughs> As it, as a real gamer doesn't have seven girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they're all in yeah. the game. They're, yeah. <laughs> they're avid. Well, I do. Her name is Chalky Court 79, so, like. <laughs> <laughs> We're really close. <laughs> Now, back to the Trust Radio Network on AM560. Hear from Chicago's business leaders. Learn who they are, what they do, and why they do it. Once again, here's attorney Stephen A. Leahy. Welcome back. We're having too much fun. We really are. And you know how people can see it? How they can do it. They got to go to our Facebook page and you can watch our live stream podcasts, the watchtalkradio.com podcast. Because sometimes, and you can, and sometimes you can the see best things stuff. happen in between. That's my co host, Jim Leahy. Our technical producer is Deborah Schreiner. Our guests today are Dykstra Home Services, Richard Dykstra and Jennifer. Mm-hmm. Malazzo. Mm-hmm, you got Malazzo. It. <laughs> okay, so, this is uh, why I don't say now. I'm just like, go oh, introduce yourself. <laughs> Listen, say it. So thanks, uh, thanks so much for joining us. This is the segment I like to talk about. Uh, the the most common questions that you get again, because the people these are the common questions you get. They, listeners have those same questions. So tell us, tell, tell us about some of the questions that you get. Yeah, I mean, people want to know what things cost. I mean, almost always, you know, bef- before they commit anything, any time. Take or, my know, money now. Yeah. Listen, right. stop yeah. talking. Yeah. No, they, they want to know, you <laughs> know, before Unless you. Unless they're freezing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, then they don't care what it costs. You know, how, much, how much does XYZ cost? How much does this service cost? How much does this piece of equipment cost? So, you know, honestly, in our industry, you don't want to guess with people's hard-earned money. It's it's a hard question to answer, when, especially when it comes to replacing a system. Okay, so let me inter- introduce. You, I mean, interrupt you. Yeah. And tell you. This. Introduce you to me. How are you? <laughs> no, because I always say, "What's the most common? What's the answer to most legal questions, Deborah?" What's the answer? It depends. It depends. It depends. Yeah. It's very similar with you. Right? Yeah. It depends. You can't answer these questions yeah. without knowing more about what their system is right. and how big the house is and all this. Yeah. Right. How, are, many, how many furnaces they have and all this. Exactly. Right. What are your needs? What are your pains? You know, what, 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 what would you change? You know, and there's things that we can talk about. And that's why we'll come out. We'll give you a free in-home estimate. We'll try to cover everything that's available, all the services that we offer. And, you know, we'll tailor a uh, proposal or a quote you know, um, to the penny quote, give you several options, including financing options, cash discount options, you know, um, you know, call us 800-421-3220. But we also, you know, we get a lot of other questions too. So, you know, I don't know if Jenny, if you wanted to cover any of those, but, you know, a lot of them happen to do Rolling around maintenance and, and IAQs, yeah, yeah. IAQ questions. Mm-hmm. There we go. IAQ. I can imagine you, you get that all the time. Everyone. Like, what is IAQ? <laughs> <laughs> Do you sell services that that you know that people like on a regular monthly basis that people for the maintenance? Yeah, we do. So we have service agreement plans with our residential customers and with our commercial customers um, that we go out and you know twice a year and service their AC, service their furnace check their filters, that kind of stuff. What percentage of your business is commercial and what is is residential? We're about 70% residential, 30 commercial. Uh-huh. Listen, open up your books for us. Let's take a look while we're here. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. Here, here, I, I know, because I am, one, I am one to always, to always uh, I think these maintenance agreements are so important that that because uh, not only do you avoid these big problems in the future, but you're kind of paying in for incrementally. Just to, it's also an insurance policy. It is insurance policy, right. and so that you don't forget, because you can forget exactly. to get that stuff done. But it's important that you have it done every year. I've seen these uh, outfits now with the like they'll send you an air, air, air filter every three months or something like that. Yeah. People forget. Right. Yeah. How often do I change my filter? And and again, it depends on the filter. But on average, every one to three months, you know, for a standard filter. But yeah, there are subscription services. Mm-hmm. They'll deliver it right to your house. You know, I think that's a great idea. Um, I, I we'll do, do the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do the same. <laughs> do, do you? We so do. Now, now again, I'm I'm a big uh, subscriber to the subscription yep. services. <laughs> uh, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, no, because again. 
again, you forget this stuff, and it isn't. And you know, uh, we talked about looking inside the ductwork. That's because people aren't changing their air filter enough, right? Yeah, exactly. And with pets, like I have to do, I change my filters all the time just because I have two dogs. So all the well, dog hair, it's just that makes nasty. sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, you have families. You got people coming in and out. That's a lot of traffic. You know, do people keep their shoes on or do they take them off? I mean, all that stuff makes a difference. No, it's tough because I got seven Lhasa Opsos. Oh, oh God, <laughs> you're one of those guys. <laughs> a lot of hair just flowing around. <laughs> now I, no, we we could talk about do you use your sh- leave your shoes on or leave your shoes off. I always leave my shoes on. Mm-hmm. Uh, my, my especially when he steps in the dog do when they yeah. have yeah. It really makes it <laughs> smell in there. No, because I saw I. I did see something about Americans that that's that's a thing about America that we leave our shoes on more more Americans mostly everybody else takes off their shoes yeah. so I've been told it, I don't they, know. people do take off their shoes and other we're, we're really digressing here but this is interesting because my it feet isn't. get cold what do you want me to do <laughs> yeah well, you were just across the border how'd I was. it go well I, it was in my I, I, rented the, I rented the whole hotel room so it was, it, was, cha- it was my little piece of America I left the shoes on he, <laughs> was, he was chased out of a lot of abuelos with these uh, with, with brooms were you guys you, you were the guy with shoes and socks on and shorts. <laughs> Crocs. 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 Yeah. Crocs. Crocs. For real. That's Crocs and socks. Yeah. Uh, Crocs and socks. That's how it works, man. There's nothing wrong with that. It's very functional. Yeah. yeah. You wanted to feel at home. <laughs> I did uh, feel a little. Just for the listeners, our, our uh, technicians do wear shoe covers. I think <laughs> yeah. the technical term is booty. So, yeah, they wear booties. They got so. they got they got booties. Yeah. Uh, no <laughs> technical. Well, with all technical terms used. Um, but no, for real. I know we digress there a little bit, but you guys obviously feel a lot of questions. You you operate throughout the Chicagoland area. I mean, if I have a specific question, what do I do? Give us a call, 800-421-3220. Do you guys answer a lot on Facebook, social media? What if I'm afraid to call? Is there a way to email or go on your website? Yeah, if you go to our website, we have a contact us form. You fill it out. It sends an email to a group um, collectively, and depending on who you know is mm-hmm. best equipped to answer that question, I, again, we'll I have, to you. I've gone, I've gone to your website. It's a very good website. Lots of great information there. And Also, too, is, are you guys hiring if you need any contractor or anybody yeah, who does HVAC work? Yeah. You guys are desperately in need for... Yep, we need I'm going to send some people your way. So if there, if there are service technicians out there, we got some for or you. It's in the Chicago land area. You train them, too. Yeah, you want to learn? Yep. Yep. Let's get your phone number one more time. Yeah, we're at 800-421-3220. And right. you can apply right online on our website. Oh, and we'll provi- we'll provide that website on the Trust Radio Network Facebook page. So, again, and when we return. So, anyway, remember, open tax resolutions there for you. 312-664-6649 to visit ChicagoTaxTeam.com. It's going to be your help to fight the IRS. I've done enough talking. Listen to our sponsors because they're the lifeblood of this business. They're coming right back here on AM 560. The answer. The answer. Yeah, hey, thanks again for everybody who's asking questions. James, thanks for asking away. Uh, they are, as you know, they are hiring, so we'll, I'll make sure to get the contact information out for you guys. And again, thanks. We, you know, we have one more segment, but it's so it's such a quick segment. It's so fast. Yeah. But we really do appreciate you guys coming on and having this fun, it's been a blast. fun time. It really has been a good time. Um, so again, if anybody's got any other questions to ask before we run out of time, make sure you guys ask away or go to our Facebook page, Trust Radio Network, and ask a question. We'll get you directed over to the Dykstra Home Services team. And also, too, if you're uh, not a subscriber of the Trust Radio Network Facebook page, go ahead and do go do that right now. Leave this video. Go do that. Come on back, please, as we wrap up this show. But we had a great, a great friend, time. What's my friend Chris Bartos asking? Uh, who who does your hair? No, that was my that's my uh, <laughs> I know my cousin John. And he asked, he said Jim. Oh, you. Yeah, well, I don't know how he saw me because I'm not on the sc- I'm not on the screen. I didn't want to address it. Okay, it's because it was like kind of like an off color joke. But <laughs> all right, fine. I'm not going to address it. Oh, look at Teresa's on. That's my wife. Oh, all right. So now yeah. we're going to have to get her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I sense a duck cleaning in your future. Yeah, she heard you were talking about her. She mentally sensed it, so now she's listening. So again, we still have. Do, uh, I was going to say, look, look. Like, what website do I go to? <laughs> what website do I go to if I'm looking to apply? Yeah. Dykstra Home Services. Dot com. Dykstra Home Services dot com. We're gonna, so we're going to talk about that now. This next segment is very short, um, and then and then it ends, and then there's a long uh, 
there's a long outro, I don't know what's up for lack of a better term. Is that what they call it, Deborah? Um, yes. There's a voiceover outro at the end. Outro. About- See, I'm, in a, I'm in this business. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not. Uh, and, uh, and then, but so stay with us at the end, okay, because then, then, we'll, then we can sign off on the, uh, on the podcast. Okay. Radio Network on AM 560. The answer. Real conversations with some of the most trusted professionals in Chicagoland. Once again, here's attorney Stephen A. Leahy. Hey, hey, we have returned. This is the Trust Radio Network here on AM 560. The answer. Yes, sir. Like the guy just said, I'm your host. I'm attorney Stephen Leahy. I'm here with my co host, Jim Leahy. Our technical producer is Deborah Schreiner. Our guests this week have been Richard Dykstra and Jennifer Malazzo. Correct? Yeah. And I don't know, I keep asking. I just I got, and I got Dykstra right Home Services. We got the Dykstra, Dykstra home team service. over the here. Dykstra team. We yes. got the team over here. And we've learned. It's <laughs> learned. the squad. That's why I love this show is that I learn so much about about whatever the our trusted professionals do because you guys know, you know, and and, and regular people, not that you're not a regular person. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we don't, but we, right, we're not acquainted with what you know about this. That's what sure. makes you the trusted professional. Right. So, I, so again, I learned a lot. Um, and so I want to thank you so much. Uh, you, we were talking, we kind of, the last segment we were talking about that you had some job openings and they could uh, apply online. Talk a little bit about that and where do you go? Yeah, go to our website, DijkstraHomeServices.com, and then the About, about Us tab, you can apply for uh, employment right there. You know, So that'll basically be an online application resume. You can attach it, and that'll go right to our HR director, and you know we'll set up an interview, and you know before you know it, Wheels will be rolling. Hey, know. mention that you heard it on the trade uh, on the Trust, the Trust Radio. radio now. I was yeah. going to say the Trade Radio. Now. That's my new idea, though. <laughs> That's for twenty twenty one. The Trade Radio. Now we're going to talk about trading stocks. I don't know anything about it, but we're going to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people that have shows they don't really know that much about it either, because that's why there was always a disclaimer. <laughs> Remember, we had that one. We had see again. We've been doing this show for a little over a year and a half now, so you guys are really kicking off our twenty twenty year. That's great. So we appreciate you guys coming on the show Absolutely. because this yeah, has been I've, I've learned a heck of a lot i learned also too uh make sure you clean your duct <laughs> get yeah. that duct yeah, work yeah, clean yeah. because Absolutely. Uh, again go to your website and you'll see pictures of it it's amazing and you, the, they're the, real photos the like before and after yeah. is amazing they're not duck, yeah. well, every five to eight years it's yeah. not an annual thing but you know some people have never had it done their house is 30 40 years old part, would that be part of my subscription no well, maybe, maybe, maybe maybe for you maybe, maybe for we could you. make it part of the yeah no because these are some again something that people don't think about right and, and it should be for your customers because they're buying new homes so Seriously. Uh-huh. Yeah. you don't want to breathe in other people's nasty oh yeah dirty. oh yeah and that's something we're going so forward again with Leahy residential now that makes perfect sense right? right you're gonna buy a home you should have someone at least look at them right mm-hmm. you know and maybe they've had them cleaned uh but I think they would tell you if they did. Yeah, <laughs> right. right. Yeah. But, but it's something you should, and again, that's something that nobody ever looks at. Who right. thinks about stuff yeah. like right. that? And that's why we need Jim to tell us about this when you're buying a home. So, uh, <laughs> that's the, what I do, guys. Yeah. So that's why I'm here. Hey, listen, Leahy Residential with yeah. Ad Properties, that's what we do. It's just like the Dykstra Home Services team. We make sure that you guys are taken care of, like, first and foremost. And again, that's why you guys were on the show. You're trust professionals. You've been in the business for, I mean. 94 years. We look good listen, for 94 years. 94 <laughs> Ninety-four years. You guys look phenomenal for ninety-four years. But for ninety-four years, I mean, the, the, that one customer was decades overdue, and it just that goes to show right there. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's the Dyke Show Home Services team. Phone number one last time as we run out of time here. 800-421-3220. And heard and just say you heard. I uh, heard him on the Trust Radio Network. We're going to have you guys back on yeah, as the so springtime comes oh, around. Nice, so we'll yeah. talk about what we can do for air conditioning. We'll but come down any time. And air quality. What is it again? And IAQ. IAQs. <laughs> yes. We're going to have a show on IAQ. <laughs> IAQ show. Open tax resolution. The sponsor of the show, 312-664-6649. Visit ChicagoTaxTeam.com. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, same bad time, same bad channel every Saturday at 8 p.m. or 5. you got to go to our Facebook page to see. On AM 560. Yes, sir.